With everything, there's a line. On one side of the line, there's a greater chance for good things to happen. This is where you'll find people like Steve Jobs of Apple, who makes your iPod, Pad, Touch, and Phone, and Oprah Winfrey and Drew Brees of the New Orleans Saints, Dave Matthews, Bill Gates, Serena Williams, Rafa Nadell, all those people you admire. On the other side of the line, there's less of a chance for good things to happen. And with each line, you've got a choice. You want to cross the line or you don't. You want that better chance for those good things to happen. Better results, better relationships with colleagues and customers, more responsibility, or you settle with the lesser chance. It's your choice. Seems simple, right? But you know there's going to be setbacks and challenges that in the short run might make it seem like you can't cross the line no matter what you do. But those setbacks... Those challenges, they might be just the lessons that help you in the long run, making you stronger and better prepared for the more difficult and more important challenges you'll face in the future. But it's going to be hard to remember that during those tough times. You see, during those tough times, you'll just see that line, and it might seem like a wall, but it really is just a line, a line you want to cross. But you've got to decide. You've got to make that choice. But then there's going to be those people Those people who've decided they'd rather not cross the line and they'd like it if you didn't either. And unfortunately, sometimes those people might be your colleagues or friends. Maybe they'll sprinkle in a little doubt or withhold a little encouragement at just the right time or even encourage you to do the wrong thing. Maybe they'll be less subtle about it and just step directly in your way. And then every once in a while, there's going to be you and that inner voice that'll try to tell you that you're not that special and that Hitting that certain goal or making something exceptional happen, those things, those things are for other people, you know? What are you thinking? Setbacks, other people, ourselves, these are real challenges. Ultimately, though, the biggest challenge is going to be whether or not you choose to put in the work, the effort to cross the line, giving you that better chance at everything great that you hope to accomplish in your lives. Just like those people you choose to admire. I'm encouraging you to make that choice right now, the choice to cross the line for yourselves and the people around you. Because in the long run, if you do, you'll enjoy so much more of your life. How? How do you cross the line? Number one, choose to commit. Make that choice to go beyond mediocrity or average results. Approach your work and other opportunities with the intent to succeed and to learn. Two, work hard. Good things are rarely easy or cheap. Real effort and attention are the fundamentals behind everything. There are no quick fixes. There are no silver bullets. You want to earn your results and push yourselves more often than not. That's how you create something special, and that's what you want. And remember, sometimes it is the small things that can have the biggest impact on results. You know, think about this. At 211 degrees, water is hot. At 212 degrees, it boils, and with boiling water comes steam, and with steam, you can power a train. Just one extra degree can make all the difference. Be 212 and push things that extra degree. The third point to crossing the line, focus. Eliminate distractions, minimize your exposure to negative people, thoughts, and things that don't serve that intent that you have to succeed. Time moves quickly and you can't get it back. Take good care of it. The more life experience you get, the more you'll understand this. Learn and embrace it as soon as you can. And finally, be resilient. Learn from your mistakes and challenges and remember your choice to cross the line and make good things happen for yourselves. I understand all of this is not easy, but it is simple, and it's up to each of you. You are ultimately responsible for your results, regardless of challenges, regardless of difficult people, regardless of what some of your colleagues and friends might tell you. It's time to cross the line. Are you ready?